Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny, episode number, uh, where's the music? Oh, had that start a little, yeah, I was trying to trip me out. Uh, 570, episode 570, what's up? What's up? 570, what's up? Yeah, yeah, now we're doing it. Um, now it's just another day here of me, uh, sleeping and, uh, (laughs) day, day 570 of me just sleeping like a like a spaceman's journey or something uh now i'm just here chilling ate some peanut butter crackers earlier the glass of milk is good um i had like club crackers i put peanut butter on them i didn't have like you know those ones that are like with the peanut butter on them those orange cheese crackers those are pretty good but i I haven't gotten those we have we have a lot of crackers and so i just put peanut butter on them I don't need to like buy another product when I have two products available that I could just combine and make, you know, into a peanut butter cracker sandwich, you know. So yeah, that's that's my story there. Um, got a lot of news here. <laughs> we'll get into the news. A bunch of random news here. Uh, here's something: ninety-six shots fired in a fatal traffic stop. Here's what the body cam footage shows, and we're gonna look at a CNN video of it. And this is kind of funny because, well, it's not funny. I mean, 96 shots were shot. Uh, let's let's uh, read the thing here real quick. Newly released body cam footage reveals the mayhem that unfolded in a residential neighborhood when Chicago police fired as many as 96 bullets toward a man during a traffic stop, killing the 26-year-old and raising questions about whether officers used excessive force. Um, so the fatal encounter, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the cops pulled him over for something, right? It was a black dude. Um, pulled him over. They they didn't have their uniforms on. They were in a unmarked uh, cop car. And the guy pulls out a weapon, shoots them. So they shoot the fuck back. And apparently someone had a bullet counter because they counted 96 bullets shot. Remember, young black man. We have to mention that he's black. Because otherwise, the story wouldn't have any legs to it. If it was a Mexican, maybe. Uh, if he was a dark skinned Mexican, but we, <laughs> all these bloody cons here getting out of the vehicles, they're going to shoot into that car, isn't it? Oh, hey, and we get an ad for that. That's funny. Uh, so, anyway, so, okay. Oh, wow. We're getting into the action here. So, for already from the, He's already kind of disobeying the orders, right? Chicago, I don't know if uh, you need to show your ID if you're getting pulled over or whatever, but he didn't have a seatbelt on, so the unmarked police people were just trying to help him out. But Jesus, that's all they're doing is firing bullets. They must not have a budget for bullets. Jesus Christ. All right, so here... So the guy shot first, right? Here's the classic... Uh, who shot first dilemma uh you heard right there just in that short span of video how many bullets they fucking shot at this dude right and i like how the picture is trying to paint it this young man who uh was just minding his his own business got pulled over for not having a seatbelt on which is a crime right i've i've been pulled over for it too and then he shot an officer first and then they went to town on his ass. And, of course, you could say what they're trying to say here. If this is excessive force. And, I mean, I don't know, man. Of course they're going to say it's excessive force because it's a young black man. If it was a white dude, they'd be like, oh, I don't think they used enough, you know. And, of course, if you're from Uvalde, uh, they wouldn't do anything. They would just kind of wait until uh, Border Patrol or someone else shows up. So, I don't know. I mean, that's how cops are, though, right? They, like, aren't trained tactically anymore. They just know how to pew, 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 pew until um, it's not moving, you know? Like, in this case, where they... I don't know how much uh, fucking... uh, collateral damage they cause shooting out 96 bullets into the fucking air you know unless they're trying to break some sort of guinness world record for it but 
for how many bullets you shoot at a man that shot at you, you know? This is like some the ending to Bonnie and Clyde. Have you seen Bonnie and Clyde? It's a good movie. I should really have mint salad. Watch that. It's a good movie. The ending's pretty fucking rowdy. Uh kind of exactly like this if you've seen it before. But um yeah, I don't know. Like it's it's tricky here because he shot first and he, you know, was obviously guilty of whatever he was doing. And now the people are like, oh, it, that's excessive force. And it's like, what is it? I don't, I don't understand. Like, they they got the job done, right? Like, he was a bad man. He shot first, so they're going to shoot for, you know, I don't know. Uh, what do you call, What where, where is it where it's not excessive? Where do you draw the line, you know? But I will say that is a lot of bullets. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel like they're trying to break some record. Uh, so whatever, hopefully, um, I don't know. He was a young black man. He, he had his whole life ahead of him. And then they, uh, went to town because that's what cops do. I don't know. Just don't be a cop. Cops are stupid. Um, go, moving on to, uh, uh, not so controversial news or maybe just as controversial. Sylvester Stallone accused of creating a toxic environment on Atlanta set of Tulsa King. And I don't know, this just kind of makes me laugh because I feel like saying, like, when I do a Sylvester Sloan voice, like, hey, I'm Sylvester Sloan, hey, it's me, uh, you, you, you sound like you're already doing that teasing voice, like, oh, yeah, maybe I should just go and, uh, you know, take my bag and leave it here over here, you know, like, he he's constantly in that teasing voice. Like, if someone was like, Oh, um, do you think you can help me with these bags? Yeah, I can help you with these bags. And it's like, why are you? This is just my voice. What do you mean? You know, like his voice is just like that. He just sounds like he's constantly teasing people because he has that Sylvester Stallone voice, you know. And I would sing the song Sylvester Stallone. I know there's a song by Angus and Julia Stone called Sylvester Stallone, but I cannot remember how it goes. Um, it's just like. I could, all I could think of is, um, can you take me home? Can you take me home? Hey, you can go anywhere you want to go. Hey, that's not Sylvester Stallone. Uh, but yeah, he, he just has the voice that sounds like he's teasing you. So I don't think he's creating a toxic environment. But then also he has like four or five daughters. So I'm sure he's always like, mm -mm, bitch, shut the fuck up. Oh my God. You know, like he probably... Talks like that too, like, hey, yo, bitch, shut the fuck up. Oh my god, hey, I'm Sylvester Stallone. That's my Sylvester Stallone voice, by the way, I, more or less, you know. Speaking of actors, Billy D. Williams uh, defends blackface, says actors should do anything they want to do. <laughs> um, I don't know, this is kind of funny to me because I thought Billy D. Williams was dead, but apparently he's not, he's like still alive and pretty old. Uh, and he's saying that blackface is fine, you know, that it's like funny that if you're an actor, you should do anything you want to do, or, you know, you play whatever parts you want to play. And I was like, well, what about Alec Baldwin playing the murderer of shooting someone with a real gun, you know, but, uh, or Kevin Spacey, you know, doing the thing he does with a bunch of little boys. Great actor though. Um. Kevin Spacey. I think he he almost balances out with the things he's done with how good of an actor he is. I think he's like right there. To me, he's like Chris Benoit. Like he's right in the middle of God, he was good, but he's done horrible things. But God, you know, he's done great things, but he's done horrible things, you know, or he, it's almost like perfectly balanced. And that's the same with Chris Benoit. Uh I was gonna say Vince McMahon, but no, he's good. He's kind of done some crazy shit. But Chris Benoit is one of them. Kevin Spacey is one of them. Uh, I would say Michael Jackson, but he's never, like, been actually convicted of shit, you know? Like, I hate that, that people are like, oh, Michael Jackson, no, no. I think Kanye West is one of them. He's said a lot of shit, but his music makes up for it. The art is better than the person. But, yeah, sure, let's have people wear blackface. I think... Um, it, when done right, it's hilarious. Like with um, what's his name? Um, Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder did the perfect example of how blackface could still work on a 
white person, you know, very well done. And that was the whole point of the movie, but you know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, Billy D. Williams, wish we could have seen him as two face. He could have done black face, one face, red face, two face, blue face. I don't know. Right. Black. That's I'm going to try to name the episode that two black, one face, two face, black face, blue face. I don't know. Uh, moving on here. Arizona Supreme Court rules a near total abortion ban from 1864 is enforceable. Um, what, what is the the what what am I looking? At? The Arizona Supreme Court ruled Tuesday that a 160 year old near total abortion ban bill still on the books in the state is enforceable. This is making abortion effectively banned in the state of Arizona. And to me, when they're using terms like this where it's like oh this law is 160 years old that's that's um uh out out of touch with the times you know what i mean and it's like okay but we're still going off of a constitution that was written in what 1776 or whatever like don't start with this whole well that law is out of touch that law is is old and it's like do we're we're using bill, the Bill of Rights and the Constitution from literally like 1776 or whatever, uh, as still like or or even we're using the Bible, which was what in the year one or zero, the Ten Commandments. So you're saying, oh, this this law is too old. It it doesn't know about women and caring nowadays. And it's like, I don't know, you're um um you're you're it's you're out of touch i don't know it's not that it's out of touch it's just that's that's the way some things are i don't know i don't know what to tell you other than if you're in a if you're in a state like that that's very red very uh against you know um the new laws of uh killing babies or whatever um or my body my choice or against women's reproductive rights move to another state like there are other states that are like better what what is even in arizona like honestly wh what is in arizona isn't or is that new mexico i think new mexico has that place where you could freeze your body and and for the future like or even freeze just your head i think that's in new mexico i don't think that's in arizona but really really what's in arizona other than them not they don't even mess with um with uh, daylight savings time they're like one of the only states that deny ever changing the time <laughs> like that just goes to show you uh what they don't care about what they do you know no nah, that doesn't that, that makes me love them actually i hate daylight savings time and if i can suck my dick um but yeah don't start bringing time into it like oh well, that's a 160 year old law like who uh, there's a lot of laws that we fucking deal with that are literally like from hundreds 300s thousands of years old you know so don't say that that law is old when all of our laws are old but lastly here on, <laughs> on the news uh speaking of old and i don't know speaking of nostalgic right um lunchables have concerning levels of lead sodium consumer reports say and Lunchables prepared boxes of deli meat, cheese, and crackers are not the, health, the healthiest option when it comes to picking snacks or lunches for kids, as they could say it contain troublesome levels of lead and sodium. Uh, and I would say file this under no shit, you know, like it's literally like uh, it's a Lunchable. You know, I remember as a kid always wanting Lunchables, especially the pizza one. And, like, they have a rowdy shelf life to them, right? So, of course, they're going to need to fucking have a lot of sodium in them uh, to fucking stay on the shelf, right? I mean, they're refrigerated, so th there's, a, there's a little bit of fucking uh, freshness to them, right? Barely. But then you think of, like, the fake cheeses in them, the shit to preserve all of that the preservatives and all that. And I don't know where lead comes from. I'm sure there's a lead flavored lunchable for all you, for the, the people who play Minecraft. Uh, there's a, 
a special edition one where you could eat lead and zombie meat and uh villager fucking i don't know villager uh jewels what are they not pearls what the fuck are they things you get to fucking emeralds it has like emeralds in there you could eat you know or a lot of ore copper lead iron ore a lot of ore O R E or, but um, yeah, I know Lunchables back when I was a kid, they were like a sign of wealth. Like if you came with a uh, Lunchable, you, you had money, your family had money. Um, if you came with just like a sack lunch, you were a poor piece of shit, you know? So uh, I could understand why um, <laughs> now Lunchables are trying to keep up with uh, the world and be unhealthy because everything else is already unhealthy. So why not have uh, them be part of that movement? You know, I'll say that. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like, like I said, McDonald's probably has way more bullshit in it or um, even Burger King. Uh, <laughs> am I taboo for saying that? Even Burger King. Burger King is bad too. Not just McDonald's. I'll throw Burger King under the bus too. Except Taco Bell. Uh you can't beat Taco Bell. Taco Bell's fucking great. I don't care if you you, you try to do that whole well, you your stomach, you'll get diarrhea. Dude, diarrhea is great. Diarrhea is so much better than the 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 other option of not being able to shit. You you try you you go through not being able to shit, and then I'll say you'll welcome diarrhea. Nine Times out of nine, you will pray for diarrhea. But as I talk about diarrhea and keep uh, talking too much, I will say that um, that's, yeah, that's all funny, guys. I want to thank you for listening to the podcast. It's all funny. It's available on your podcast. It's all funny. Uh, I guess my buddy Gabe called That's All Kayfabe, where we talk about wrestling. We're all about WrestleMania this week. So check that out. That's All Kayfabe, available on your podcast. Available. Uh, I do a these videos of this podcast and that podcast on the youtube channel youtube.com slash at lorenzo Ariola. you can see videos of that videos of me gaming older episodes other stuff i'll do a live show with the wonderful mint salad called tits and areolas where we talk about a movie and play a game that's live on tuesdays at 8 p.m central 9 p.m eastern check that out uh, if you want to support the podcast even more, you can check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. Five dollars a month gets you everything. Early episodes, bonus episodes, a few deleted episodes, and other stuff. Uh, check that out. And uh, if you want to buy any shirts, uh, t-shirts, prints, or, you know, uh, what, stickers, hit me up at Lorenzo Ariola on Instagram or Twitter. I've got t-shirts, designs, stuff like that. Uh, all done by the wonderful at Retro Horror Inc on instagram and twitter that's at retro horror inc check him out check his stuff he does everything for the podcast does do stuff for you thank you my patreon subscribers thank you to everyone else take care like and subscribe